Welcome to Mouse Clicks TV Rebooted, where we're talking about everything Linux, PC, and Mac. So welcome to the show. Let's get clicking. In this segment, I'm continuing my discussion with Don Corbett about the Linux operating system, and some interesting malware that's uh, been going around on Facebook. Yeah, so uh, basically we pulled up and uh, took a look at the code, and uh, let me pull this up again here. And the nice thing is, I can save this code as a, as a text file, as opposed to an HTML file, mm -hmm. so I can read all of the HTML uh, encoding and, and still not launch it. You know, right. Because it would be real important not to launch it. But the important, the other important thing here is that this is being brought up in its own totally isolated environment. Uh, on the top of my screen here, where I'm following the, the virtual machines, uh, you can see that I have highlighted here uh, Ubuntu 8, and it's uh, the first process that's running. I'm only using 3% of my CPU. So, you know, that's, that's a great soft area to be in, gives yes. us lo lots of, of room there to play with. And uh, I can monitor each virtual machine as well as monitoring the, the hypervisor itself. Mm -hmm. so, so we're totally fenced off here. If I do make a mistake and, and launch the thing, what we'll do is just kill it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and in fact, since this is what's called a stateless condition, I can go in here and I will um, say, let's go to our virtual machine and I will shut it down, and I will do a forced off. Now, uh, it's going to warn me here, uh, are you really sure you want to do this? Because we are essentially taking a machine that's plugged into the wall and yanking the cord. Mm -hmm. Okay, So you better make sure that that's exactly what you intend to do. But hey, I don't want to spread this virus. I don't want to mm -hmm. uh, corrupt, uh, you know, if, if it's written things into memory. Mm -hmm. That's something else you got to be very careful of. If I go to a different Facebook page, will I then be spreading this to somebody else? Mm -hmm. Don't want to be doing that. So I'm going to say yes, and you'll see just that fast, bang, the guest is not running anymore, and this machine is shut down. So uh, if I want to double check and make sure that this is good, again, the uh, monitors that you see running here are in the host operating system, which is Fedora but we're doing the virus system under Ubuntu okay. because we want that media-rich environment. So uh, we do a run, and if you've ever watched a Unix or Linux box boot before, this should look vaguely familiar to you. It's the command line boot up. Mm -hmm. It might take a, a little bit more time than usual, and in fact, uh, I noticed my CPU usage went up at one point up to 70%, but that's booting up the virtual machine with it also running everything else in the hypervisor. Mm -hmm. So it, we've got a lot of horsepower here, especially when you consider it something that I'm going to close up, stick under my arm, and walk home. And uh, at this point, you can see my Ubuntu's coming up. If I did have any malware, uh, for example, uh, in the uh, cyber roulette, if it was going to log me off, it should have already done that. So uh, th that chat basically chat roulette. Chat roulette. Uh -huh. That's it. And uh, so what that basically did was tell me that uh, we're clean. We're clean, and this is a, another way where uh, if, if you have cyber forensics work that you want to do, you want to isolate somebody's computer, you want to check it for you know either uh, malicious content or uh, you know just suspicious content. Mm -hmm. This is another way where we can do this and run it in a completely clear and clean environment, without uh, without worrying about any uh, any carryover to the host machine. So That's very interesting. Absolutely, uh, the way to go. Uh, and if so, you how can people avoid this on Facebook? Uh, you just have to be aware to stay away from the YouTube.com that looks like it comes from folks, but and it, it really does look like YouTube.com. Well, and, and in fact, it is YouTube.com, but it's taking you to a specific uh, piece that's got some malware written into it. Um, but so it's it, taking to you to a place on the actual YouTube site, mm -hmm. but that is a bad place to be. And it's also running with this malware behind it. Absolutely right.